Guys, as we all know that women in our society do not get much rights to work independently and speak up for themselves. Do you know the reason behind that? It's our society. As we all have seen that in our society people judge the gender. And you know they differentiate between male and female. They differentiate how much they should earn. how much they should stand in the society and we are here to break this mindset and for this i would like to invite uh, in, invite our story kalakar uh, let's give a big round of applause for him to all the boys here we have been learned listened and seen all our life that ladies first isn't it so taking permission i'll be talking to the, with the girls doing a little bit of conversation so hello to all the beautiful girls and ladies out there before starting there is one thing will your eyes please focus will your eyes will ever be arrested to a boy who is in such a scruffy shape and attire will you ever extend your hands of friendshipness and companionship with him no some answers came no and some gestures say no not at all and yes my dear brothers will you ever prefer going in such a state to your class office or college where there are girls and boys males and females in such a shabby and untidy state would you no you might in case it's a fancy dress competition and you are doing the role of don पुष्पा झुकेगा नहीं वेन वेन आंसर से इज नो फ्रॉम द ब्यूटिफुल लेडीज एंड टू द जेंटलमैन हेयर आई एम सार्थ गुप्ता विथ सम ऑफ द लीस्ट डिस्कस टॉपिक्स येट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द सोसाइटी एंड परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द ह्यूमन इट इज अबाउट को एजुकेशन इज बेटर और नॉट when we were doing some this small activity of untidiness and shabby look what we discovered both the gender says will not girl said that they will they won't allow a friend of such state this won't allow a boy of such state to be their friend their companion or their colleague and boy said they won't go and prefer to be in such a untidy state what does that mean were we somewhere conscious about our attire because other gender is there in your school class or college and in your office yes absolutely yes absolutely yes, yes. yes. answer says in a very one unanimous voice yes so that's where the role of co education deriving this with the first point that when both the genders males and females boys and girls are in the same place same space same class same scenario we become conscious we be, we look to be better dressed and yeah i know there's a mindset that don't look by judge don't judge by looks sorry but there is also a quotation the first impression is the last impression so you create your impression your personality of attire well when you have consciously know that you have a girl in the class you have a boy in the class you have a office colleague who is a male or who is of opposite gender going down the line i was in first year of my college abs college and there we had a one like we all had some labs 
activity arts do you all have some activity arts so we had that the name was pc lab pc any guesses personal computer <laughs> nice one tejasvi thank you for such a great recommendation but it says professional communication lab so in a group of 50 students our teacher divided us into five students each and you all know and i have introduced myself my name starts with the letter s and this one beauty of the letter s that lot many girls names start with the letter s like we have sunaina we have shrishti and in my case where i was divided into the group of 5 do you know what was the name of the students it was sanya it was sadhana it was samiksha so excited it feels like you are more excited than i was at that time but to your disappointment the fourth one was sarthak and the first one was rajiv so how many boys do we have here in this group of 5 two and now we were divided into five group of 5 and the topic was given to us you have to discuss indian culture adaptation of western culture that we are copying the western culture so you know what was the scenario of the class after some time we all get to in our spaces and sanya samiksha sadhana and your dear sarthak we started was not more than a fish market a sabji mandi four superstars four intelligent people were there sarthak samiksha sadhana and sanya but i saw rajiv he was there and while i we were all in jibril he tried sanya uh, sarthak what i am trying to say is that uh, we co can copy we were not even listening to him so you might be thinking rajiv must not be fit rajiv might not be fitting in he is not good in communication and he might not be able to fit in with you but to my surprise and let me tell you rajiv was a well built guy like you gentlemen and he had some manageable communication skills he can speak well but while we were doing after some 5 minutes of con i gained my consciousness and look and i step back and i asked rajiv kya hua bhai to which he replied yaar sarthak hum jo hai all boys mein padhe hain aaj tak to hum agar kuch bole aur in ladkiyon ko bura lag jaye to हम कुछ गलत तो नहीं बोल देंगे अभी अभी हम इसमें लड़के लड़के हमारे स्कूल में सब लड़के ही लड़के थे ट्वेल्थ तक आई डेंट नो वॉट हैपन बट समीक्षा शी माइट हैड सम बिग एलिफेंट ईयर्स और मे बी शी इज गुड इन गॉसिप्स आई डोंट नो शी हर्ड वॉट वी वर डूइंग द बेस्ट एंड अमेड ऑल दिस डिस्कशन एवरी थिंग स्टॉप्ड and some teacher said hey guys he got she had this some different type of gesture i don't know guys come on listen now listen i said what happened okay let's we are new to this college and we will do some casual introduction and there we stopped this discussion of indian and western we tried to fill the gaps what were there in the group as we were new and we have to present this topic next week we did a lot of casual conversation a gossips rajiv was comfortable he said hum yahan se aaye hain i am been less into interaction with the boys with the girls so i was little hesitant and other girls sanya was a little hesitant with the boys so we did casual conversations we passed gestures we were feeling now more friendly at least not that much awkward now when we were crossing the ways 
we pass the smiles and do you know one day rajiv came to me in the hostel and what he said you don't know how how would you know that it's my scenario my story so rajiv came to me and said sarthak bhai computer lab mein bhi aisa hi hua tha mera group pragati ke sath ban gaya tha aur maine uske sath code kara aur main uncomfortable bhi nahi hua main acche se communicate kar paya and that is how his journey of the college went smooth and went better with the other gender of the society other gender of the class but in this story what you saw the changes in rajiv can you name any how was rajiv before under confident yes, yes. hesitant subdued and shy he was not accepting the other gender of the society and on later when we had some profession casual conversation and introduction how was he little bit more confident more exposure more exposure and even exciting and giving inputs to the other perspective other genders perspectives this is all one side of the coin i sell i told you all the pros and the question i started with was is co education better or not so fine you might say sarthak we heard all your questions we heard all your analogies yeah good story your story kalakar you might convince us no they are all face other side of the coin but what we need to see is the other, which side of the coin is giving more shine and more lightness in our life there are chances you get distracted there are chances of making a bad environment but there are more pro, pros than cons i can think of so coming back to square one the question i started with is co education better or no. not i said this is not even a question co education is the need when we say that god created everything and god has a plan of everything and we all know god created adam and eve two creatures adam and eve god created husband wives and husband god created sisters and brothers god created females and males god created she and he so when this world is created with coeducational coexistential where both the genders can't be separate in all the lives so i'm again repeating that in the world of adam and eve wives and husbands brothers and sisters females and males she and he so there's no existence of i there is always v and i'll be ending my thing with a quotation of dalai lama he said education is not educating the minds education is educating the hearts so co education is a combination of educating minds with the hearts of the real society because these males and females are part part of coexistential society co education is better or not i deny the question co education is the need is the question is the answer thank you